Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm excited to show you my latest Lego model, which is this Spirograph-like drawing machine. I actually designed this about a year and a half ago for a different project, but I've just recently had enough time to sit down and put together building instructions for it and make this video. Now, drawing machines like this have been around for well over half a century. In the 1950s, there was a toy metal version, which was quite similar to this in a lot of respects, called the Hootenanny or the magic designer and since then people have created much more elaborate versions out of wood metal and even lego but my goal with this model was to keep it as simple as i could and this has just under 100 pieces in it while still producing some interesting and cool patterns so let's take a look at how it works there are three main components to the model the turntable which holds and rotates the paper this armature which holds the pen and these two anchors on which the armature is mounted and one of these anchors actually rotates which is what causes the pen to draw the repeating pattern if we take off the armature the turntable and the turntable support we can see the relatively simple gear train that drives the model these gears in the middle just gear down the output from the motor so that the turntable rotates once every 27 times that this anchor rotates. And that way, whatever pattern the pen is transcribing will be repeated 27 times for each full rotation of the paper. I designed this model so that there are several ways to customize the pattern that it produces, and they mostly have to do with how the armature is mounted. In order to better illustrate this, I'm just going to disable the rotation of the turntable so that we can see the actual shape that is being drawn. Changing where you mount the armature on the rotating anchor will essentially change the size of the shape being drawn. Changing where the two armatures connect will change the actual shape being repeated. And you can also customize where the armature arms are connected to the anchors along each of the lift arms and also change the position of the fixed anchor. And these changes mostly just control the location of the shape being drawn on the paper. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have created building instructions for this model, which you can find over at jkbrickworks.com. And if you'd like to reproduce any of the patterns you saw at the end of the introduction, I will be posting photos of how I configured the model for each of those over on my website as well. I think that's about all there is to it. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next time.